Hey guys, so I've slightly changed the setting of this favorites video because I just wanted it to be quite a relaxed video. I just want to sit on my sofa and talk to you guys about my favorite products or just things that I've been loving throughout the month. I didn't do favorites last month, so that's why this month I have quite a few products. By the way, do you like my t-shirt? I just got it from Bershka and I ripped it myself. It didn't come like that. Um, yeah don't take it too seriously okay so i'm gonna start with beauty i think um one of the products i think i have mentioned it before in my favorites but this month i've been just obsessed with it like i cannot not use this product it's my yves saint laurent uh les saharian sun kissed blur perfector healthy glow balm powder i showed you guys how i apply it on my instagram live and i just yeah, basically cannot be without this. It's a bronzer. It's a, it's a cream bronzer that turns into a powder. So when you first apply it, it's quite creamy, but then when it sets, it's like, you know, a completely matte powdery finish, which is so interesting. And I apply it with my beauty blender and it just gives you a sun-kissed look. By the way, I have it in number five. So I feel like when I apply my foundation, my skin looks a little bit flat and kind of, you know, it lacks dimension. So I just take my beauty blender and then pat it on my cheekbones, on my nose, and then on the top of my forehead, a bit on my chin and on my eyes as well. So it just gives like an, a very natural looking tan, like I've just been in the sun and I got tanned. And yeah, honestly, love, love, love this product. Um, it's very easy to use. It's very warm tone, so it's not a cool contouring product. And I love it. The packaging is really pretty, but it gets dirty and fingerprinty very quickly. Okay, another um, beauty product I've been loving is NARS Creamy... What is it called? Um, I don't know, like creamy, radiant, radiant creamy concealer. I have it in vanilla. I got it when I went to Paris and I got the small one just to see if I like it because I've heard people rave about the soft matte concealer from NARS. So I was like, which one should I get? I don't know. I got this one and it's so good. It deserves all the praise because it's just so brightening. Honestly, it's just one of the most brightening concealers. So I use it under my eyes, you can use it on your blemishes as well. It uh, doesn't crease, it blends so beautifully into your skin. And you don't get a lot in this in this one. You get only 1.4 milliliters, which is a joke. I don't remember exactly how much I paid, but uh, around 15 euros, maybe 13, 14, I don't remember. But yeah, I think it's still it's better to get a full-size product. <laughs> you get more for your money. I've used up my Lancome and my Armani foundations. So I started using this one, which is Clinique Anti-Blemish Solutions Foundation. And it is fantastic. It works so well on my skin. It blends beautifully. I use it with a beauty blender. I really like the packaging. It's very compact and sleek and perfect for traveling. It's quite hygienic, I think. Um, so I just put some of it on my face and then blend it in with a beauty blender and it just looks very natural on your skin so I do have quite oily t-zone and uh, it lasts pretty well throughout the day while my skin starts looking shiny I need to blot it but still I think it's pretty uh, well lasting foundation it doesn't break me out doesn't give me more blemishes I don't even know it's called anti-blemish solution I don't know if it actually combats blemishes and prevents them. I'm not too sure, but I just like the way it looks on my skin. Like it's a very beautiful finish, very um, flawless looking. So yeah, and I use it in number one, fresh alabaster. And you have to really shake it up before using. So that's a great foundation if you're looking for a new one. I've completely fallen in love with Beauty Blender. I cannot use brushes anymore for applying my foundation. But I just got this Real Techniques equivalent of a Beauty Blender. It's like diamond shaped sponge. And it's it has this like marble, gray and white marble print. And I love it. It's just as good. It's very bouncy. It's pretty much the exact same thing as Beauty Blender. The only difference is the shape. This one is quite angular 
and someone said they didn't like it because of this angular shape. Um, I like it. I like it just as much, but maybe not for bronzer because for like for this cream bronzer, I prefer Beauty Blender because it's like rounded. This is better for just foundation and concealer. Um, it's a little bit bigger than Beauty Blender and I like that you can just rest it on your dressing table like that. Pretty much the exact same price. Um, and I, I don't prefer it, but I've been loving it and using it this month. I haven't personally tried the Orange Real Technique sponges. Do let me know if they're good and if they are comparable to Beauty Blender. Uh, because those are like half the price, so maybe I should get the orange one as well. But yeah, this one is really good. I get so many questions as to what nail polish I'm wearing and what nail polishes are my favorite. Like whenever I post a picture, I can be sure that there will be at least one comment. Even if you can barely see my nail, someone will ask what's on my nails. <laughs> so uh, these are some of my favorite and most worn nail polishes that I've mentioned many times, but I wanna repeat myself so that you guys would know when you see in the picture or videos or Insta stories that it's probably one of those colors on my nails. Okay, so this one is Sally Hansen Pink Pong, one of my ultimate favorite nail polishes. Just a beautiful, soft rose color, kind of dusty pink color. Very, very beautiful. I love it. It's very long lasting. So that's a great nail polish. You also get a lot. The other one that is very similar, it's actually the one I have on my nails right now. Maybe it's a little bit more gray and just a tiny bit lighter. It's from L'Oreal and it's called Rose Bagatelle. I also love Boudoir Rose and the nude ones from this range, but this is one of my most worn ones. And then this one, it's actually my second bottle of it. It's like my ultimate summer nail polish. It's Dimanche Après Midi. Love the name, love the color. It's a very soft baby pink color. It's like a milky pink color. And it just looks very flattering. It looks like you have gel nails. It's an awesome color, my favorite summer nail polish. Okay, now I have one body favorite, which is Dove uh, Summer Revived. So this is like an old school product. You guys might remember, I used to always use uh, this Dove product. What was it called? Like Summer Skin, Dove Summer, something about summer, something along those lines but they have changed the packaging and I feel like they have reformulated the product because it has an even fresher scent. The scent is really nice, really pleasant and it's absolutely non-streaky. So essentially this is a gradual self, yeah, I think it was called summer skin. It's a gradual self tanner. This one is light to medium and it's just so good. It's extremely moisturizing, first of all, just a perfect, body moisturizer that adds a little bit of color. It's nothing very intense, you know, nothing major. If you are afraid of self tanner, but you just want a tiny bit of color for your skin and great moisture, definitely check it out. Like this Summer Revive product, I had it in my cupboard for a long time and I was like, why am I not using it? For me, this is a perfect, so to say primer or prep before self tanner. So. You have to use body moisturizer before using self tanner on uh, dry body parts, but I basically use this all over my body. So it just gives a very light layer of tan, great moisture. And then I go on over top with my self tanner. So yeah, I really, really like it. And uh, gradually you can slowly build um, a more intense color. It's still not gonna be as dark as fake tan, but definitely give it a go. Okay, and then another product I absolutely love is my Bioderma Hydro Bio Serum. If you have very dry skin, this is one of the best moisturizers. It's so lightweight and yet extremely hydrating because it has this, it is a serum, but it's not too runny. So it's like the perfect texture for me, I feel like. And uh, yeah, it's great. Again, before I, I fake tan my face and just if I feel like my skin is very dry or tight after washing my face, 
This is incredible. I'm nearly out of it. My mom absolutely loves this product. She's on her second bottle. It's like a boost of moisture for your skin. So I wash my face and then when I put it on, my skin is like, yes. It's like so revitalized, so plumped up. But um, what I like about it is that it's not sticky and it sinks into your skin very quickly without leaving that residue or stickiness. So you can apply uh, makeup right away pretty much. And this is what I always use before my makeup now. I love it. So one pump is actually enough, so it should last you quite a while. And uh, I need to repurchase this product because it's amazing. The last beauty favorite is actually something that I received today. So you guys might not trust my opinion on this, but believe me, I already love it. Like sometimes I just know when the product is me or right for me when I love it I just know it instantly and um, especially with perfume you either love the scent or you hate it it doesn't you know doesn't really require time for you to start loving your scent at least for me I immediately know that I love a scent and it's a new Elisa perfume it's called girl of now First of all, the bottle is absolutely stunning. I feel like it's a very retro looking bottle. And this scent is so beautiful. So it has almond, orange blossom and patchouli. I know I'm gonna wear this perfume a lot throughout autumn because it's very gourmand, it's very cozy, very comforting, like the perfect autumnal scent. Um, because of that nuttiness, the almond note gives the perfume a slightly bitter, but at the same time, a very sweet um, feel. And uh, it's just beautiful. To me, it's just gorgeous and it's so autumnal. I can already imagine myself wearing a big chunky scarf, an oversized autumnal jacket, a pair of boots and this perfume. And then having uh, a cup of almond latte at a coffee shop. Like this is how this perfume makes me feel. Definitely check it out if you love almond and quite gourmand scents. Okay, another, this is the last beauty favorite actually. It's my Clarisonic Mia 2. So I've had it for a couple of months. I don't even think I mentioned that I've been using Clarisonic. I cannot imagine my skincare routine without this product anymore. Like makeup removal would never be the same if I didn't have Clarisonic. It's so good. So I do have that Philips Visa Pure brush, which just spins around. And you guys were telling me that no, it's not the same. Clarisonic is so much better because it doesn't spin. It actually vibrates. And you guys were so right. So you click the button and it just has these ultrasonic vibrations. And it just removes all the dirt off your face. So sometimes when I feel like I've removed my makeup, no, my Clarisonic would still be dirty. Um, so what I do, I usually use micellar water to take my makeup off and then I apply some uh, face wash in here in the middle and then go all over my face and it kind of beeps. So when it does, it doesn't beep, it just says da 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 and then you know that you have to move on to another area of your face. But yeah, I absolutely love Clarisonic. It goes traveling with me. It's just essential for me, like so, so good. I've recommended to my friend as well, said you just have to have it. You have to invest into Clarisonic because um, taking good care of your skin is very important and this is amazing. Oh, and actually the last beauty favorite, I forgot to bring it here with me. I'm gonna insert a picture of it here. It's basically a purple shampoo. So I felt like my hair was getting a little bit brassy and um, I made an appointment at a hairdresser. I was like, I need to tone my hair. And then I went to a NYX event and they gave us a sample of this Matrix Brass Off shampoo and I was like, Okay, just another purple shampoo. I'm not sure if it's gonna do anything. I tried it and honestly, my hair went almost silver. It toned my hair so quickly. I was like, oh my God, are you kidding me? I never trusted in blue or purple shampoos. They never ever did anything to my hair until I found this product and I'm like, hold the door. I called off my uh, hair toning appointment and I was like, 
sorry i don't need it anymore i found an amazing shampoo so i'm gonna show you guys what my hair looks like right now uh, so when i dye my hair i never dye my whole hair i only touch up the roots and the, the ends stay the same for years and years they just grow and i don't touch this color because if i did dye my whole hair i would just damage it so badly it's not very cool tone because i still love that golden uh, blonde color but it's definitely a lot cooler now actually with the shampoo you have to be quite careful because if you keep it in your hair for too long your hair is gonna turn silvery blue which happened to me before and i was like what happened to your hair so do not um over keep it in your hair today i didn't even keep it in i just massaged it into my roots and then like my entire hair basically and washed it off i didn't even keep it in and yet it still managed to tone down the warmth in my hair which is just crazy it's very potent very strong and you have to be quite careful with it but i'm just honestly i'm so happy that i have found a shampoo that does the trick i have some fashion favorites so these sunglasses i've been obsessed with they are so amazing so i was gifted these by auxegre the photographer that i did a photo shoot with she made me wear these for the shoot and i was like these are amazing and at the end she was like you can keep them if you want to and i was like are you kidding me these are gorgeous so they're i feel like they're very retro like this is something that my grandmother would have worn they're super skinny gold um, and very cat shaped sunglasses and you have to wear them um quite low on your nose i feel like these are very cool girl sunglasses maybe a little bit 90s as well so i'm gonna link them below yeah i just think they make any outfit like when i put these on it completely changes my look so love these okay some more accessories i've been obsessed with my rosefield watch um so i don't really wear my daniel wellington watch anymore because i actually prefer the bracelet of this rosefield watch when it comes to daniel wellington i still love their watches so much but they send them to every single blogger so like every second girl has their watch and it's it's not I don't know it's not interesting anymore this is a very similar model but to me personally the bracelet is more beautiful it's more shiny gold and i love the name rosefield that's like one of the most beautiful and brand names ever in my opinion and it has a slight mother of pearl effect to the face of it it's not completely mother of pearl but just like very slightly um, it's so beautifully made. It's just a stunning watch. I wear it every single day as well as the bracelet Which is also one of the prettiest bracelets in my opinion. It's super skinny Very sparkly and very dainty uh, silver gold plated bracelet. So I love this wrist combination at the moment Another jewelry favorite is actually my new Misoma mini fang um, choker so this is the box that it came in i basically caved in and ordered myself this choker because yes again with this necklace every single blogger has it but for good reason because it's absolutely stunning and i love lucy williams i think she has an incredible style i like her personality too she's just very down to earth and just a very cool girl and um so this is from her collection with misoma and she just released a uh, choker. So a mini fang choker, that other classic kind of horn necklace in a choker version as well. Like a perfect everyday necklace. I love gold, I love chokers. It's just perfection. So I caved in and got myself one. The last fashion favorite is this one. It's a jumper I just got at H&M and I've been living in it already. You must have seen it on my Insta stories, probably Insta live and in my pictures. Honestly, this is the dreamiest color. This is my one of my all-time favorite colors. This shade of blue is definitely my shade of blue. <laughs> Cinderella blue. It's so beautiful. And it's just um, a sweatshirt. And here it says love in like silver sparkles. And I love it. Honestly, love it. One of my favorite pieces of clothing at the moment. 
it um and i got it in size large because that's the only one they had and i actually am really happy that i got an oversized one because it's perfect with a pair of uh, you know my cigarette jeans from bershka and their favorite um leggings for just when you want to be very comfy casual but still cute at the same time so my favorite look right now is this these uh, Bershka jeans and my nude Puma sneakers. You'll see me wear this jumper a lot, probably in, in my vlogs. So yeah, guys, these are all of my favorites. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like the setting and slightly um, more relaxed vibe of the video, maybe, hopefully. <laughs> um, as you can see, it's really dark outside. It's actually nine in the evening. So as you can tell, I don't really film in the mornings. I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know some of your monthly favorites in the comments down below. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you very soon. Bye.